Welcome to Martin's Kitchen here up in Ronaldstown. Uh, a few people have been asking about recipes now that we're in lockdown and happy to share some recipes with you. And if a wee video helps uh, get you cooking them, all the better. So today I'm going to start with scones. And I say I'm using the same recipe as I use at work. Maybe slightly different flour, but it's self raising flour, uh, buttermilk, margarine. They might be sli slightly different brands. But the recipe is the same, your results might be slightly different. But here we go. So, first, wash my hands, make sure everything's all clean, and we'll get started. So, it really is simple. If you get up half an hour early tomorrow morning, you can have these ready by 9 o'clock. So, all it is is 500 grams of self raisin flour. grams of castor sugar and this is important cold margarine and a grater brown soft margarine at room temperature use the grater and just grate it in it grates better and it makes it easier to rub in so it doesn't take long just two or three minutes to get that grated I'll make two different ones today I'll make cherries and sultana uh, yeah fruit scone but you can make whatever you want uh, the good old favourite cinnamon, white chocolate raspberry, um, the list is endless. So that's it, grate it. But make sure your margarine is cold and then just with your fingertips, just rub it in gently and lift it up as you rub it in. phone's ringing, but I'll ignore it. So just lift it up and rub it in. Sorry, there's a small bit of paper. You don't want paper. Um, just rub it between your fingers lightly. Don't press too hard, and you'll end up with sort of sandy texture. This will probably only take no more than ten minutes to make from start to finish. Say, set your temp set your oven at 180 degrees, and it'll probably take 15 to 20 minutes to cook. The ones I make at work take 25, 20 to 25 minutes to cook, but they're slightly bigger. Okay, that's first stage done. So I'm going to split this into two. And I'll just make some fruit scone. So, so canvas, and again, I don't measure this, so just whatever you think yourself, just a good mix of sultanas, that when you cut into your scone, you're sort of getting, getting it well spread out through the scone. That should be enough. So it's important to mix the sultanas in before you add the buttermilk. And then just, again, no recipe, no amount of buttermilk, just enough to bring it together and again just the four fingers just round and round a small bit of buttermilk at the start until it comes together keep the fingers well spread as if you have four wooden spoons in there and it's starting to come together so we've got more buttermilk and we're nearly there That's that. So then there's two different ways of doing it. The rolling pin or the palm of the hand. I'm just going to use the rolling pin. So just flour your worktop, a wee bit of flour in your hands, just scrape around off your fingers and just rub your hands in the flour, just pick it up. And then just roll it into a ball. Into a ball. And right. Probably the most important part of this recipe is don't over knead it. Just two or three times, just fold it back on itself, tuck it in at the bottom, and pat it down, and that's it. 
any more than that, and you're going to end up with sort of tough, hard skulls. You could roll it out if you want, but the back of the hand, or the palm of the hand, is as good. I'm using about a sort of two inch cutter. Just dip it in your flour, cut right down, try not to scoop the table. I'm just onto a tray with either some grease proof on it. This will probably make, I'm guessing, 15, 20 scones. That's a 500 gram recipe. Just when you cut it out, just sort of shape it again, just with your fingers so it's nice and round. And say so you could have these made half eight tomorrow morning and they'd be ready for nine o'clock. So just lay them sort of a wee bit of space in between them. And this here, the bits that are left, just push together again. Again, don't, don't over knead it. Just bring it together, tuck the bottom in, ham it down. And then when you get to the end, just any wee scrap bits, just put them on the tray. They'll taste the exact same. And now with the cherries. Again, as little as, or as much cherries you want, but just cut them in half. And if your cherries are quite sort of covered in sugar or syrup, just give them a wee rinse and dry them off because sometimes that can make your scones a bit claggy. So just cut your cherries in half. Again, the same sort of balance that you get a wee bit of a cherry in every bite. And that's the cherries, that should be enough cherries now. And again, same method, just mix the cherries in and enough buttermilk to start. Just the four fingers, just stir it round and round, it's, it'll start to come together. And just add a wee bit more buttermilk. And that's it, come together now. And again, a bit of flour on the board. Clean all your fingers. You don't want it too wet. Some flour in the sort of pan on your hands and bring it together. And again, very important, just Two or three, brings it back, tuck it in below, palm it down, and cut them out. I say you can get the kids to do these, they might enjoy it. You can do plain ones, I say, you can do different variations. Again, any scraps, just bring them together. Don't overwork it, just tuck it in, palm it down. And I'd say these would probably take 15 minutes to cook, probably no more, they're quite small. And that's just a, another sort of retail one. Again, you don't, you can brush these with milk, you don't have to, um, they will cook up, I don't brush them with milk at work. So I'm going to pop these in the oven, check them after 10 minutes, and we'll come back to you when they're ready, 15 minutes, okay? Okay folks, um, 15, 17 minutes are up, so this is them ready. And I say, don't do what I did there, I maybe put too many on the same tray. You just want a bit of space between them. So just, they're still hot, just lift them off onto a cooling rack. These are the funny 
shit ones here. And you need to sort of let them cool because they're just a wee bit too hot. So yeah, just a bit more space between the, the scones would be better. So that made 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 15, 16 scones in that recipe. Um, and that's them. So you can wait 15, 20 minutes or you could go at them straight away, but they're still too hot to butter. But they're nice and soft um, and I hope you enjoy them. And maybe another day we'll do another week course. That's them. Okay, folks. So everybody stay safe. I'll try them tomorrow morning and if you want to take pictures, send them in. Uh, there's no prizes. So have a go. Let us know what, what they're like. Okay, thank you.